what's the world like? Um, Chelsea's se- you know. uh, selling and buying cigarettes uh, just randomly in her life. Like, and she's like, what do you mean yeah. this isn't how it works? <laughs> yeah. Uh, and no, I mean, you know, like, uh, Smokey was banned in prisons in 2006, so, so oh, uh, that that man. that might be a bummer for for some people. Uh, <laughs> Definitely a bummer for me. I, if I if I went to prison, the only thing I would be looking forward to is unfettered cigarette access. Yeah, it's, so. yeah, it hasn't it hasn't been allowed since like 2006, 2004 to 2006. The only result of that is that we we have like jacked white supremacists now coming out with perfect lungs, so they can like chase and beat down Antifa. <laughs> this is a bad policy. Do people sneak cigarettes in though? I mean, you got. I mean, I imagine. People have to smoke in yeah, prison. It's, of course, it gets. Of, of of course, there's a network. Uh, there's a network of everything. You can get anything, anything that you need in prison. You can get. Uh, it's just a matter of like what risks you want to take and uh, how serious. Uh, like how like how serious um, the you you want to deal with the consequences because you're gonna get caught. Uh, somebody's gonna catch you eventually. It's a matter of time. And yes, to round this back a little bit and get a bit more serious again. Um, Yes, they had a lot of solidarity with like prisoners because the thing that I always find fascinating whenever whenever I'm asked about prisons is people understand the inherent like difficulty of being in prison and the the disconnection that people go through and the inherent violentness of the prison system. One of the things that I think people struggle with is that prison is a how do I put this? The most violent people in prison time and time again were the prison staff mm. always it was never there was never an exception right and that's just mind-boggling because whenever you have the state you know to back you up and you have state immunity and you have authority over another person like almost absolute authority over another person and you've stripped the other person's credibility away then y- you can just do whatever you want and the things that they do are just cruel you know you can not every, you know, sure, not every prison guard is cruel, but they every single one of them looks the other way at the ones who are, which is, and backs up the ones who are. So it's just an inherently horrifying experience 